Picture three common headaches. You're tuning a model with endless settings and your GPUs grind all night. You're planning delivery routes and the combinations blow up. You've got a tiny noisy data set and your usual tricks stall. Quantum computing promises a simple edge across all three. Explore huge search spaces smarter, not just harder. Now in simpler terms. Classical computers flip ones and zeros. Quantum computers use qubits that can be in a blend of zero and one, and multiple qubits can be linked or entangled. The magic isn't raw speed, it's interference. Wrong paths cancel, better paths reinforce, so you get a higher chance of landing on good answers with fewer tries. Where does that help AI? Four places you'll actually feel. First, search and optimization. Hyperparameters, feature selection, policy search, routing. AI is full of find the best needle in a massive haystack. Quantum algorithms like Grover's and variational methods can reduce the number of guesses you need. Not sci-fi, just fewer brute force sweeps, more useful candidates. Second, linear algebra. Deep learning is matrix math. Some quantum routines can speed up solving certain linear systems or power quantum kernels that map your data into huge feature spaces you can't handle classically. If your problem has subtle global correlations, this can show structure with fewer examples. Third, generative modeling and sampling. Lots of AI boils down to sampling from complex probability distributions, diffusion steps, Boltzmann machines, policy sampling. Quantum states are probabilistic by nature. If you can steer those probabilities efficiently, you get faster or more faithful sampling, which means better training loops and sharper predictions. Fourth, better synthetic data from physics. Many high-value models suffer from limited or inaccurate data. Quantum simulation can generate more faithful molecular and materials data. That doesn't replace AI, it feeds it. Better data in, better models out. Now the reality check. Today's devices are small and noisy. You won't run GPT on a quantum chip this year. The near-term wins are hybrid. Your CPU GPU does what it's great at. A quantum call handles a tough sub-problem, search, sampling, or a kernel, and hands results back. Think quantum coprocessor, not quantum takeover. Cost and latency? You'll access real machines through the cloud. That sounds slow, but you don't put your whole training loop on pause. You batch the quantum calls for the hardest parts, keep training classically, then fold results in. If a single quantum step replaces days of sweeping hyperparameters, you still finish sooner and cheaper. Energy? Quantum hardware needs fridges and careful control, but the computation can take dramatically fewer steps on the right tasks. If you burn megawatt hours running giant grid searches today, targeted quantum offloads can trim both time and power. What does disruption look like in practice? Your AutoML tool sends a handful of top candidates to a quantum routine instead of trying thousands. Your reinforcement learning system uses quantum-enhanced sampling to explore risky but promising policies early. Your anomaly detector swaps in a quantum kernel for one gnarly sensor stream. Your chemistry team ships weekly quantum accurate simulations that become the backbone of your materials model. None of this asks you to rewrite everything. It asks you to insert one new capability where you bottleneck. So what should you do in 2025? Step one, name the bottleneck. Is it search, sampling, or a specific kernel? Training is slow is too vague. Step two, prototype the hybrid loop with simulators. Decide where a quantum call would sit, what it returns, and how you'll use it. When access improves, you're ready. Step three, get comfortable reformulating problems. Quantum advantage often appears when you encode your objective differently, not when you push your current loss through a new box. Common questions, quick answers. Isn't this years away? Broad consumer impact, yes. Narrow, high-value use cases, no, that's already in motion. Will quantum replace GPUs? No, GPUs remain the engines of deep learning. Quantum is a specialist you call for hard subroutines. 
What if classical catches up? It will, and that's fine. The frontier moves. Teams that learn hybrid workflows ride that frontier, not chase it. Here's the takeaway. Traditional AI bulldozes with scale, bigger models, more data, more compute. Quantum gives you smarter shortcuts, better searches, richer features, faster sampling, and higher fidelity data. Combine them and you spend less time wandering and more time climbing the right hill. That shift is why Quantum won't replace AI. It will change how we build it. Subscribe for a candid look at where Quantum helps now and where it's still hype.